Have you ever heard of Filfredo Pareto? He's the guy that figured out this 80-20 principle. While he was doing some research in Italy, he came to realize that 20% of the, or 80% of the land was held by 20% of the individuals. Well, this ratio works in a lot of different ways. That 20% of your clients, you will get 80% of your income. But also 20% of your clients will give you 80% of your headaches. So it can go in a lot of different ways. But let me show you how this kind of works um, as we're talking about Google Analytics, about thinking about your content, where you can put energy, and maybe discover areas where uh, you need to make some changes. So I'm gonna switch over to my website. And so this is my, this is my uh, Google Analytics for a couple of my sites. And we're just gonna kind of walk through them a little bit. But this one in particular uh, talks about my website data. And in there, well, that was a big jump, that I have a quite a number of pages uh, listed on this site, but as you can see at the very top, there's only a few that really get the attention. So these are pages that have resonated with people. So this is a these are pages that I can beef up to make stronger to even get more eyeballs on them. But on the other hand, I may want to look further down the line to understand why other pages are not showing up near the top. So this is the first thing is, you know, being able to sort by these different categories. So if I wanted to find out, for example, the bounce rate, I can click on the bounce rate and I can very quickly see that 20% of these pages um, are getting 100% bounce rate. So I may want to either get rid of those pages or do something radically different. In this particular case, what's happening is Facebook is adding this unique tag. And so therefore it's kind of distorting my, um, my reports. So I can filter these out so they do not show up in the reports and I that would improve things. So by attending to my information, you know, with this idea of Pareto's principle, you know, I already found areas where I can go back and improve. So another another place, you know, that you can basically look is in your search. So under acquisition, under search console, you can see what the queries are. And in here, we have, you know, the top 20%, here are the queries they are looking for. So if I was to look at my content development strategy, I would look at those queries, and this is off my personal website, but I would look at these queries and say, am I, putting together content that addresses those queries, right? That may be a, a place that I can go start looking at. Where's another place? Another place is my social networks. As you can see, that's Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter over the past year. That group has gotten me the lion's share of all my interaction on my page. And here I've been putting energy into Goodreads and I'm finding that it doesn't get me very much at all. And so I would you know, maybe rethink my strategies for this, um, but I can also dig in to look at what pages particularly uh, Facebook was serving or Pinterest was serving uh, to find out what the 80% or the 20% that was getting me 80% of the traffic was for that. 
and maybe double down on that and put additional advertising. What else? This happens to be um, what did I what did I want in here? Oh, my campaigns, right? So I use UTM tags, or in this case, it's also coming for advertising, and these are where the the bulk of my my efforts have been uh, trying to promote uh, content. So one area, for example, is I have Social Warfare running on my site. And I've had it running for about a year, but it's only gotten, you know, three clicks through Social Warfare or um, as a result of that Social Warfare plugin. You know, so that is that is something that I need to take a look at. Um, whether I'm going to continue with it, um, reassess how that's all working. But I know if I look on my webpage that I'm getting a lot of shares, I'm getting a lot of um, uh, people are clicking on it and saving those, but they're not just, they're not coming back as return traffic, it looks like. So something that I just need to investigate. Another area that you can look at, this happens to be uh, the countries or locations that are serving me traffic. And I pulled out a spreadsheet, I did some math, and it's off about 5,000 hits, so pretty significant. But um, basically, you know, the top 20%, which happens to be eight or 38 countries, are feeding, you know, the, the bulk of uh, the traffic to my site. So, uh, fascinating that Colombia is there. So it'd be more interesting to figure out why I'm getting a lot of traffic from Colombia um, and how to uh, better serve them. And then finally, this happens to be looking on the technology side that the top browsers are Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, and Firefox. That is what's driving, you know, that that small percentage has the lion's share of what's happening here. So I have to make sure that my web pages are being able to be served properly um, on these pages. So I have a, a higher, no, higher than normal uh, bounce rate for Firefox. Why is that? So I, I would have to um, maybe do a little more investigating to figure out why that's not working properly there. So this is how this, you know, 20, 80%, 80, 20% uh, rule can uh, help you out in figuring out your content and uh, what you need to be focusing on and help guide your efforts to make sure that you're making those tweaks in those areas because that's going to serve the, the greatest amount of people. So... Um, that is a little bit about the uh, 80-20 rule. Um, I hope you found it interesting and useful. If you like it, certainly give me a thumbs up. If there you have any questions or comments, throw them in there. This was just a, a, a quick down and dirty on how this may apply um, as you're looking at your content and where you need to either beef things up or move on. But this was just the tip of the iceberg. So. Uh, thank you for joining me.